I'm here today at Community Natural Foods, a wonderful natural food store in Calgary. There are two locations, and I'm here today at one of my favorite stores to answer many of your health concerns and questions. It's assumed that as we get older, we lose our bone quality. We lose our structure, we lose our mobility, and we lose our independence. Our best structural asset are our bones. By 30 years of age, all of us no longer are building bone naturally. We need a bone building strategy. All types of exercise that challenge bones are very good for bone development. It's critically important throughout our life, regardless of our age, that we challenge our bones each and every day with some weight bearing exercise, whether it be in our kitchen with the weights or whether it be isometric exercises against door jam. But what's critically important is to balance our exercising so that we equally challenge the left and right hand side of our body. Our diet should be 75% alkalizing food each and every day by volume and about 25% acidifying foods. These are not good versus bad foods but they are both necessary. It's just the quantity of each one that's very important. The alkalinizing foods are colorful. Fruits, berries, vegetables, salads, herbs, and spices. The acidifying foods are animal or plant-based proteins, grains, various types of fats. So our diet needs a composition of both of them. It's the quantity should favor the alkaline forming foods. For an entire list of what these foods are, Please go to GenuineHealth.com where we've listed all the foods that are acidifying and the foods that are alkalinizing. Greens Plus has been shown by Dr. Leticia Rao at the University of Toronto to build good quality bones. It's the phytonutrients, those varieties of colors that are in fruits and vegetables called phytonutrients that help to build bone. In particular, she found if you have seven milligrams of lycopene in your diet every day, Lycopene is the red that we see in tomatoes or pink grapefruit or watermelon that the lycopene helps to prevent bone from breaking down. It's a phytonutrient that actually prevents bone deterioration. So we took that research and we combined it with all the bone building ingredients that Dr. Carolyn DeMarco, Dr. Leticia Rao and I felt would be important for good bone development. We started with calcium. We developed three forms of very specific calcium, calcium citrate malate, calcium formate, and calcium bisglycinate that are absorbed at a very high rate to build bone. We found that you can never take more than 500 milligrams of calcium at any one time. So each serving of Greens Plus Bone Builder has 500 milligrams of elemental calcium that's absorbed very efficiently with 300 milligrams of magnesium, the exact amount of magnesium we need for good bone building, with 800 international units of vitamin D3 that's necessary for calcium to be absorbed, along with lots of vitamin K2, which guides calcium into the matrix of the bone. Boron and silicon and zinc and many of these micronutrients are available in the exact amount for good bone building. So on the front label of Greens Plus Bone Builder, it says prevents osteoporosis and increases bone density.